Okay, welcome back, guys, to um, Gordo Sacrifice's uh, walkthrough to Silent Fighter game. Each, I mean, each bonfire like, is called something different. But uh, I still call it like Rota Sacrifices, you know, kind of like that. These guys are a pain, and, and you can get invaded a lot in this level, which I had, well, while I was uh, trying to upload this video, I got invaded and I died. And I was sitting in front of the bonfire, so that, that just goes to show right there. Usually I have my Silent Squad members being in this area, but um, they are not on right now, so. Doing this by myself and being the Lone Ranger for now. These guys are pretty weak to fire as well. They're like, you know, they're tree guys. So what, like, what does wood do? It burns. <laughs> ah, come on. Really, dude? Now let me see if it'll work for a fire or That way, I might not uh, be out there doing some over. Wow, okay. Not quite. Let me try a black flame. Alright, black flame's less powerful, but it still takes him out in one shot, so I'll use that. It'll save me just FP. You know what, though? I could take the password off, and that will uh, bring random people. So I'll, I'll go back up to that bonfire and you can check for random summon signs. Oops. So this is kind of a big area. The, the only enemies I really can't stand in here are the crabs. There's three big ones in the pond area and then I'll, I'll get to them when I'm ready for them. But now when you get too many of these tree guys after you, they're annoying to like just as much. The crabs on. See because it didn't directly touch him, it didn't take him out the ball. You have to like if you do like a like oh I threw a ball next to him, it doesn't do maximum damage. It should be okay. Whoa, 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 I thought I did a double kill. Never mind. You gotta make sure you're clear of other junk too, because then it'll, uh... It'll, uh, the fireballs will hit that, and it just, it pisses you off, because then it, it leaves yourself open to an attack. These mushrooms go all the way back to, uh, I believe Dark Souls 1. I think they're in Dark Souls 2 as well. Dark Souls 1, I think... Uh, well, Dark Souls 2, they do definitely, like, shoot out acid, which destroys your armor and weapons if you get too much of it. Dark Souls... Well, yeah, I think they're Dark Souls... Another area of Dark Souls 2, where they, uh... Correct me if I'm wrong, do they shoot green crap, too, in that, in uh, the gutter area? I'm trying to remember. I haven't played that in so long, because I have it for the PS3. picking stuff up. I, I'm not always mentioning what it is because you can see it on the screen for yourself, but uh, you do get some pretty cool stuff. But it also depends on the type of a player you want to. Like, I'll probably, with this guy, I'll probably never ever hold a great shield because I'll never have that type of vitality. Maybe I will. I don't know. I didn't figure it out yet. This my guy's more of a light character. Now, I mean, I have a balanced guy who's high in, like, everything. Um, I prefer him to have a little bit higher vitality, but he's pretty high already. And that, like, the, the a few guys I want to make in the future, I want to make, like, a bleed build guy, like, straight up on luck. I want to make a faith guy who's higher in faith and not intelligent as much. I mean, th I mean, this guy's got high faith, but not as high as intelligence. I want to reverse the process in the other, with the next guy. And I also want to make a, um... 
They also want to make a guy who's full of like high endurance. Uh, like he carries heavy weight, he's like a build-up tank. And a high resistance. Just uh, it, it just uh, gives your uh, self something to play with, you know, like some more lead way. So there's a, and like it's, I mean, if you PvP with people, you can play around with your different characters, get them leveled up, and uh, so this is the next bonfire, um, I ain't gonna stop the video, I'll just continue it, but like, um, you just keep pressing on, there's uh, I didn't go into the pond yet, I'm not ready for that yet. So basically you would go in here, okay, you can summon, okay, I'll show you that, I'll explain that pink sign in a second. Kill these guys. If you remember from the, the one I did sell that video, where that pink guy showed up, the mad dark spirit, uh, Hydric. Well, that's him here, but you can actually summon him. He doesn't actually invade you. He, you can choose to summon him and kill him. So in this case, it's like consistent off. I usually do because it's fun. He is challenging. He really sucks against Pyro, but he's really good against um, good at defending melee. He has a really strong weapon. Wait, I meant to use one of these. So I'll summon him. And I'll Pyro him to death. Hello, Hodrick. So his dad, his uh, stabs are like one shot kill. That's, I'm, that's why I'm trying to keep away from him. Well, it's almost one shot kill. They're they're high enough. I like I don't know how he gets so much power. You only get so many of those, dude. I think he just used the power with it, which, oh, that's why he gets his one shot kills. Well, he's done it to me already with another guy. Before he got leveled up. play this game. Take that one. You've been silenced, Hodrick. Just give me some free warmth. That's a warm spell. Basically gives you a um, health. Anybody can get a hold of it, including an enemy, which is not good. So what I'm gonna do now, uh, I might as well sit back at the bonfire. I don't, I don't plan on backtracking that other area, so. I'll just sit down here. And I'll uh, start another video. Thanks for watching for Silent Player Gaming.